Okay, so yes, a lot of this is Marlowe's. Um, this came broken, so that's a real disappointment. Um, my fake bangs I got, Marlowe's toys, Marlowe's brush, I got Marlowe's Halloween costume, and something for me. So let's build these things that are half broken. That's sad. Okay. So this is the first thing that I bought and it is a hamster playpen that they can run in. Oh, there's another piece of that broken. Ugh, that's sad. Um, that they can run in while you clean their cage. Let me take it out. Okay, that is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. This was only a few dollars. I literally thought it was gonna be a little bit smaller than this, but it takes up the middle of my whole room. So, <laughs> I guess Marla will love that. Next up is this tunnel. This uh, collapses like this, but it also fans out into a larger tunnel for Marlowe to play in. Okay, so this is a plastic pipe. It does mold and bend and fold and extend and all the things that you want it to do. Um, you can make it longer like that. You can put a little curve in it like that. So this is like, Awesome. I think I'm gonna actually buy another one of these to go into her house um, underground and then this one will go in to her playpen. But I think I'm actually gonna get another one of these to go underground in her house. Next, next up are these toys. There's two, four, six, eight toys in here and these are just like rope toys and shoe toys. Um, for her to play with and I'm going to throw those in her playpen. So these are all the toys. There's two, four, six, eight. There is nine of them. So that's cute. Next up I got her a little hamster brush. This just brushes out her fur and keeps her looking good. So it just looks like that. A little brush. Nothing too fancy. Just something to brush her fur out. Halloween is coming up soon and everybody dresses up in this house and Marlo is not going to be an exception to the rule, unfortunately for her. So she got a little witch's hat for Halloween and she's going to be a little witch. Next up, I got this little carrying case to uh, carry her around the house safely or to the vet or wherever she may need to go. So this is kind of made a little cheaply, I think. That's sad. Yeah, like there's like zipper things hanging out, all kinds of stuff for her to chew and get in her mouth, unfortunately. Well, I guess I can keep her in it temporary. It is soft. Um, okay, well, let's zip it up and see. Okay, so it does come with like a little carrying handle and that is a lot of room in there. I could put like a little tea towel or something in and then zip that up and keep her in there to go around the house. But that's cute to just take her wherever I want to go. So these are little hideaway tunnels and I didn't know that they're going to come. I have to put them together. So let's see how hard this is going to be. All right. So these are the cubby holes. They were, they had no instructions. So you kind of had to figure it out yourself. Um, but they're very big and they're going to fit perfectly in Marlo's house. So this is the part, the piece that became broken. We're going to try to salvage it. I'm not sure how far we're going to get though. This did come with instructions. Um, so we're going to try to follow the instructions. Okay, there that is. Um, I'm not sure Marlo can get down there and turn around. 
and come back up. It is um, quite small. We're going to try it out and see and just watch her and see if she can get turned around and, and get back out using the stairs. Um, yeah, but I'm going to really make sure I watch that. Thank you. 